Hi, today I want to show you how to use my Oracle Apex PDF plugin. So, I have created a little uh, demo page, demo PDF report, and for that report, I want to use uh, PDF uh, export. So, first Go to my GitHub repository and download the plugin. The important file is placed in Dynamic Actions folder and you have to download the SQL file. So I will download it. So download is complete. Now we can go to the demo application and install the plugin in shared components, plugins and import the SQL file we have downloaded from the GitHub repository. So I will drag and drop the file so import as plugin ok next next ok everything is ok and install the plugin So now the plugin is installed into our demo application and now we can use it on our uh, PDF report page. So the first thing I will do is create a button that calls the dynamic action. I will place it into a new region place the region at the top of the page so button region so now I create the, the button PDF export button not the valid name PDF export and that button will call a dynamic action on click so click button action and this will call uh, the plugin so choose the plugin The plugin comes with some default settings. The default is uh, page in A4 format with some portrait and some margin settings. Then the uh, jQuery selectors for the body, the header and the footer and some other settings. So I will not change this at the moment so save it so let's have a look what how the demo page is looking there should be the new button okay and I press the button uh, yeah, uh, an empty page will be created Oh, oh, it throws an error because it does not find the body. So next we, we have to tell the plugin where the body is for our PDF. So the default class name is PDF minus body. 
So we will mark the, the region that is used for this body with that class. The CSS class is PDF body. Save it. And now it should render a valid PDF. We'll save the file and open it. So you can see we have already a very good looking PDF file. So next we want to remove the, the region header headers and add a PDF header and a PDF footer. So we go to the page designer and tell our PDF plugin what, what is the header. This is done by marking the header region with the, the class for the PDF header. So next the uh, PDF footer. And we want to remove the region headers. This can be done on the with the region template. Change it to blank with attributes. Also for the body. And for the footer. and also for the sub-regions. You can mark more than one region and uh, do it for all the region in, in one step. So let's check the result. So the region headers are removed. So on, and we have we have configured the, the header and footer information for our PDF export. So let's check how the PDF looks after these changes. We'll check the console if there is an error. Okay. is an error so let's check if there's something wrong okay there's the class missing I have I used where is my class information so the class is missing Okay, the operation, the change, uh, the template change operation has removed our class information. So we have to reconfigure the, the, the region classes. So our body, this is the header. This will be the, the footer for our PDF. So let's check again, reload the page. Hopefully now it works. So there is no error in the console and the file is generated. So We'll open it and now there is our header the header is repeated on each page 
and the footer. You can configure the, the header size within the plugin settings. So the, the header size is configured with the margins. So we can increase the top margin to, to uh, reserve more, pay, uh, more, more space for the header. Now let's check. Reopen the PDF page, PDF report page, do an export. So save the file and open it. So you can see there is more more space for the header. And this can also be done for the footer section. So one one feature is is that you can add a page page information to the PDF. This you can also find in the documentation on the GitHub repository. There is a configuration markdown where the configuration is described and there is the section with the PDF, PDF page info container. There you can see how to add uh, the, the page information. So I will copy this from uh, another demo application and add it to my footer section. I will create a, a subregion. I will call it uh, right because it's placed on the right side of the footer. Uh, remove the region headers and I will use bill SQL code to to create uh, the element for the page information. So let's check the result. Open the PDF report, export the PDF, generate the PDF and export it to a file, save the file, open the file and let's check if the, the, the footer information is okay. As you can see, it writes the page information, page one of two or page two of two. Okay, all right. So there are some more uh, class, class uh, information you can set. For example, you can tell the PDF uh, generator that you want to add a page break before a specific element. So we will try this. I will add a page break before this uh, classic table, the classic report. So let's check what we have to add to add a page break. So I check my my implementation. Where is the configuration? So here is the configuration, and as you can see, if you want to add a page break before an HTML element, you have to add this class attribute. So we add this class to our demo table and 
This should tell the PDF generator to add a page break before. Oh, let's check again. A result. Reopen the PDF report. Generate the PDF. It's working. So save the PDF. Open the PDF. And let's check. Okay, there is now a page break before our HTML table. So, I hope this helps you a little bit how to use my PDF plugin and have fun.